What's up everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, we're taking a look at a 28,000 year old uh, cave lion cub. And I believe this is the most well-preserved uh, species of any kind of animal from the ice age that is known to science. It's fascinating. Like when you look at how well-preserved this cave lion cub is, it's, it's almost un un like unbelievable. Like it looks like it died maybe yesterday or a few days ago, maybe last week, something like that. But um, I saw this and I was just really, really surprised. So I figured I'd share it with you. So let's go ahead and take a look at the article. I was thinking about making another one, like a little mini documentary, like how I did for the pirates. But that took such an inordinate amount of time to do that. You wouldn't think because you know it's not crazy production values. The cameras are all out of focus. But uh, editing everything and getting all the images and putting it in and since I filmed it in my other room, I had to uh, film it, uh, take the uh, like the card, whatever, the memory card, put it into another computer, that, uh, my laptop, use that to edit it, then load that out, then install it onto my PC, then load that out, then edit it, then it just, it just took forever. So I'm just going to go ahead and for this one... It's a short enough article. I'll just read through it, talk about it. There's a little video at the end where we can see the cave lion cub in a little bit more detail. So we'll take a look at that. And uh, maybe someday I'll get around to my other uh, Pirates videos. I think I have a better idea on how to do that form of video so it won't take as long. And I might just have to do it here in my office so it's a little more efficient. But, you know, it is what it is. Learn as you go. So let's go ahead and take a look at this article and see what we have here. Oh, and one more thing about this. I guess what was happening is, uh, you know, uh, countries around the world are limiting the amount of, uh, I guess, ivory that people can hunt for or gather and making it illegal in certain areas. So what a lot of these former ivory hunters are starting to do is they will actually go out and just look for ancient animals. And I believe that's how this uh, cave lion cub was actually found. That's pretty cool. That would be a pretty neat hobby. Like, so what do you like to do in your, you know, for fun? Now I go and I hunt for uh, ancient species that are not, not even fossilized. So that's like even crazier because they're not even fossils. They're like actually still well-preserved. I believe around five, maybe 10 years ago, uh, they found a mammoth in Russia and they actually ate it. They had like this big dinner and everyone got around and they ate mammoth meat. So who knows how tasty that was, but you know, that's a pretty, pretty cool thing to be able to tell people like, yeah, actually I had a, so what'd you have for dinner last night? No, I had, I had mammoth. It's like, what? 28,000-year-old perfectly preserved cave lion cub found frozen in Siberia, whiskers still intact. A nearly 28,000-year-old cave lion cub discovered frozen in the Siberian permafrost is so well preserved you can still make out each and every one of her whiskers. Yeah, look, like 28,000 years old. And look how good that looks. It's like amazing. Researchers in Sweden claim the cub, nicknamed Sparta, is probably the best preserved Ice Age animal ever uncovered and describes Sparta in quaternary. I, guess I looked at that. That's like a, uh, like a scientific review journal. Her teeth, skin, and soft tissue have all been mummified by the ice. Even her organs remain intact. To date, Sparta is the fourth cave lion cub, Panthera spelae, found buried in the permafrost of Yakutia which lies in the northeast corner of Russia. She was discovered in 2018 by local resident Boris Bereznev, who was looking for ancient mammoth tusks among the tundra. As wildlife hunting and trade have become more restricted, tusk hunters like Berezev have begun to search for ancient ivory in the icy north. With climate change weakening the permafrost and extending the tusk hunting season, we're finding more ancient remains, and not just from woolly mammoths. In the past few years, residents in Siberia have pulled woolly rhinos, wolves, brown bears, horses, reindeer, and bison out of the permafrost. And some of these carcasses date back as 40,000 years. So, wow, like a 40,000-year-old carcass. That's, that's just really cool. That's almost like a... That should be like its own specific form of archaeology, like where you actually hunt for well-preserved, like mummified animals. Clearly, these icy steppes were once home to numerous large mammals. In fact, a year before finding Sparta near the Similuk River, Berezna found another cave lion carcass just 15 meters, 49 feet away. This one, named Boris, showed slightly more damage, possibly from its permafrost cave collapsing, but it was still remarkably intact. Researchers in Sweden, who have since helped analyze the carcasses, claim both Boris and Sparta are about one to two months old. 
Yet despite their physical proximity and similar appearances, Boris is thought to be roughly 15,000 years older, give or take a few centuries. Yeah, that's unbelievable. I mean, I've mentioned this before, but and I can't remember <laughs> the specific date. I forget if it's 20,000 or 200,000. But some uh, cavemen stayed in the same cave for like 200,000 years. And so at one point in time, you know, these cave bear or cave uh, lion cubs could have actually been around with the same humans. That's pretty awesome to think about. Today, the little we know about cave lions mostly comes from fossils, tracks, and ancient cave art. Mummified bodies found in permafrost are some of the best evidence we have of, of their existence. Their frozen carcasses look remarkably similar to modern lions in many ways, just on a much larger scale and with, and with a much warmer coat. But one of the most iconic features of African lions, their mane, seemed to be missing on cave lions. Yeah, look at this. It's pretty remarkable. In fact, early human artwork from the time suggests cave lions rarely sported manes, or if they did, they were extremely discreet. Some Ice Age paintings, for instance, show dark patterns of coloring on the cave lion's face, but it's unclear what that represents. Boris and Sparta are, are both juvenile cave lions, which means it's hard to say how their coats would have developed as they aged. Apart from some dark coloring on the backs of their ears, researchers say they are mostly covered in yellowish-brown fur. If the cubs had a chance to grow up, experts think their fur would probably have turned more of a light gray to help them camouflage in the cold Siberian Arctic. The presence of a mane is important because it could tell us about the social structures of cave lions, for example, whether they live by themselves or in groups with clear hierarchies. At the moment, scientists are still debating whether cave lions during the Ice Age roamed the steppes of Siberia on their own or in, pride like, or in prides like modern African lions. There's one particular painting in Francis Chauvet Cave from the Ice Age that depicts nearly a dozen cave lions, both male and female, in the act of hunting bison. I wonder if that cave is the very famous cave that's in uh, Cave of Forgotten Dreams. Awesome documentary. Check that out if you haven't seen that yet. I think you can watch it on YouTube with ads. Maybe, maybe not. I think it was on Netflix or Amazon a while ago. Hunting in groups can be more effective than solitary hunting when the prey is large, and cave lions would have made, would have had many such prey species available in their ecosystem. For example, mammoths and rhinoceri, run, and rhinoceros, when there were no other options available to them. The authors of the recent analysis write. In addition, large pride would have a large pride would have helped to protect their kill from the competition, and also to protect the cubs and young from predators. For now, this is all just guesswork. Even though we have some astonishingly intact cave lions in recent years, we still don't have enough information about these extinct predators to reach any conclusions about their social structures. Perhaps one day that could change. Maybe we will unearth another cave lion with some hint about their long lost lives. Or maybe one day we will successfully bring cave lions back to life. Yeah, I guess one reason that they're not able to uh, use these carcasses to like clone animals and bring them back is because the DNA and the flesh and whatnot is not preserved well enough. But I wonder if this specific carcass would be preserved well enough. Then again, it might be too old since it's like 28,000 years old. So who knows? There is a very realistic chance to recreate cave lions, and it would be a lot easier than a clone of woolly mammoth, paleontologist and one of the study's authors, Albert Pro Protopopov, told the Siberian Times. Some scientists have suggested we do this with woolly mammoths as well, but cave lions are a much younger species. Protopopov suggests that we could supplement their clones with some of the genes from modern African lions, making the work a bit easier. That's obviously a controversial idea, and the reality of it is probably still a ways off. For now, the next step is to sequence the entire genome of both Sparta and Boris. Then we can figure out what to do with the information we collect. So yeah, so there we have the specific article about this really well-preserved uh, cave lion cub now let's go and take a look at this video in this video it's I, I believe it's two scientists and what they're doing they're taking samples of the cave lion cub you know for analysis so we can get a really good look at it and when you see it in live action it looks even more well preserved than those pictures i think
it's got you can see the whiskers there it's paws and the nose is still well preserved look at the fur it just looks uh, it's so fresh it's like it's almost kind of surprising that the eyes aren't there because it's how well preserved it is So yeah, so there you have it. So what do you think? I thought that was pretty cool. I figured I'd share it. And thanks a lot for checking this video out. Uh, you can find me on Twitch if you're interested in seeing uh, live streams of games. I've been playing Disco Elysium. It's pretty cool, like story-based game with like a really engrossing narrative. Uh, it seems uh, to be about two detectives that are trying to solve a murder case. It's really cool. I definitely recommend checking that out. And you can find me on BitChute and Rumble and Odyssey and YouTube for like all of these interesting stories about random topics around the world. And thanks a lot for checking out this video. And until next time, take care.